Tell me why. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot to fix this. So there's an invisible H right here. Now you can see it. There you go. Sorry. So acetic acid, which is hydrochloric acid. Why hydrochloric acid? Weak acid. Why would that make a difference in conductivity, Clayton? Because we're ionizing more. Okay, which is ionizing more? Okay. Okay, this is 100% ions. What are the ions in this scenario? Uh, H plus and chloride. How? What percentage of product is made of the acetic acid? About. Give me an approximate. Two percent. Cool. Two percent. 100% of these are made. You have 2% of H plus and uh, C2H3O2 one minus. That's how much acetate and, and H plus you have. So that's the difference is the weak and strong. Yeah. Is 2% just investment? Yeah, it could be like anything like from, I would say 10% and down is generally what our weak stuff does, but it varies. It's based on, it's based on its KA value, which I wrote yesterday. Okay, between these two, take a second. Kevin. Why? Uh-huh. So again, 100% ionization. This one is not a strong base. Why? Because it doesn't ionize on so. Okay. It's not ionizing and it's not a part of our eight strong base little B. Remember? I'm trying to draw B in the air. Okay. Um, make sure you know this is a weak base. Of these two, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that as molal and this is molar. So this was the first one was based on strength of acid and base. This was based off strength of Acid or base, um, or just bases here. And then these two. What's your thought process here? Why sodium chloride? Okay, so it does have a higher concentration. Um, how many ions, how many ions does this one make? Two. So the I factor, this is kind of review, right? I factor of two. How many ions does this one make? Two, again. So we are, we're making two ions on both accounts. So it's not the number of ions or the amount of dissociation that matters here. It's the... What did you just tell me? It's the concentration that makes the difference here. Those other ones... You know, six molar, six molar, I didn't even give any concentrations here. The concentrations are irrelevant up here because the dissociation uh, percentage is vastly different. That's the main property difference between those. This one, they both make two ions. So then how do you choose? You go back to concentration and go, oh, the higher concentration has more ions, more ions, more conductive. Cool, cool? Yeah. What if something has a more concentration or less higher concentration? We would have to do a lot more work, and I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> okay. You would have to look at uh actual moles and like calculate actual moles and then go through ionization that way and we could do that like that's going to make in one kilogram 0.001 moles of sodium chloride and then one liter of solution 0.0000001 molar uh, moles of hcl and then i would have to give you like volumes and stuff you can calculate actual moles. okay yeah because uh that's a good question most of them, ionic stuff acts ionically, and covalent stuff acts covalently, and they don't ionize. Acids act ionically. Bases also act ionically. A lot of stuff acts ionically. So remember that it, the, the, despite the fact that it's not metal, non metal, this is such a weak attraction. This is a weak kind of covalent bond between the two. We break it to make H plus and, and Cl minus really easily. Okay? All right, I'm going to cut the soccer chip quiz on. Clear your desk. You only need paper because you will need paper for calculations today. Write your calculations on your paper. You will need a calculator. If you don't have a dedicated calculator, then ask me for one, okay? Meaning you can't use your phone with your calculator. Okay, they're on my desk. Come grab one. It's not, it's not, I haven't turned it on yet. So we'll see. Okay, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, let me know. All right, um, clear your desk because you don't need anything but your brain, your calculator, and lapis. Papel, lapis.
No cuaderno. Go look over there. Okie dokie. So we have now a little bit of information on acid base reactions. We already know what kind of reactions these are. By looking at this uh, re this BCE, what of our five types of reactions, which one is it? I know, I know it is as called acid base because that's kind of the theme of the week here. It's double replacement reactions. That's all it is, okay? So we talked about synthesis, decomp, single replacement, double replacement, and combustion. Of all of them, it fits the double replacement scheme. You can see the replacements happening. So we're going to really work on nomenclature a little bit more today, uh, talk about how this influences pH. We'll do a quick lab. It's like 30-minute lab. It's real easy. And then we will go into a quick review of Mythbusters. So I want to make sure you guys are with your uh, lab reports. So whenever we have a neutralization reaction, generally we, we are reacting something acidic and something basic. They sometimes will be true acids and true bases. How do you know it's a true acid? What's in the front? And how do you know it's a true base? It's got a hydroxide on it. Um, some of them will be acidic and basic. They won't be true acids and true bases. So, but it is still neutralization because you're making, most time making, a salt and water, okay? So um, let's give, give, me a, give me a cool acid, cool acid. Not HCl. Citric acid. Citric acid. Oh, I don't know the formula for citric acid. Uh, C six H. This one's cool. I'm going with it. Benny. Yeah. Yeah. It's something like that. It's like citrate. Okay. So citric acid. Give me a cool base. Lithium hydroxide. I'm going with lithium hydroxide. Okay. All right, so you'll see that we have a cation and anion, a cation and an anion. They they will double replace to make what? Give me the salt first. Lithium citrate. Lithium, my made-up citrate here. C6H8O2. Okay, how did you know there was a one charge on this one? Yeah, because there's only one subscript there on the hydrogen gate and one subscript there. Okay, so that's lithium, citrate, and and ooh, what's this rest of it here? Water, HOH. I am not going to write water as H2O anymore, okay? It's easier to see which is a cation, which is an anion when you write it this way, so this is why I'm always going to be putting, putting it like this. You can see the difference, okay? Okay, this is for you. And then we have a quick titration right here. So the titration looks like uh, the chemical should, right? Hydroxides have a little oxygen and H hanging off of it. And this right here, this purple is sodium. So what's in the in the titration burette right here? Sodium hydroxide. What's, what is it dropping into? Can you see the hydroniums and then the Cl? What is that? I know the hydroniums came from NH plus, right? So what's in here? H plus and Cl minus? Did you see Cl right here? Hydrochloric acid? Yeah. HCl? Hydrochloric acid? Yeah. Okay. Sodium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid, react to make something neutral. Okay. And you can see as these sodium hydroxides and the uh, hydrochloric acids combine. Can you see the Mickey Mouse right here? It's upside down Mickey Mouse head? Yeah. That's water, right? And you can see the ions are staying apart. Why are the sodium and the chlorine ions staying apart instead of coming together? Because it's aqueous, they are soluble. Remember how they're spectator ions? They go out and they separate and they are not really participating in the reaction. They're spectator ions. So that actually goes back to NIEs a little bit. And then if you have too much base, there's base left over. That's why it's not combined. So you should be comfortable with, comfortable with particulate diagrams as well. We'll kind of see some of those throughout, especially in a, we're doing a simulation on Monday. And let's do some reactions, okay? Shout them out as we go. I'll do one quick example, then you guys will come up here and do these. Hi, uh, oh, that one's too easy. That one's too easy. Let's do the next one. Hydrochloric reacts with sodium bicarbonate. These are on your paper that I gave you as well. If you want to write these um, under underneath the examples, the lecture sheet I gave you. Give me a lecture sheet. Yeah. This is acid base reactions. HCl and. Huh? Oh, no, no. We're talking sodium bicarbonate. Oh. No two. HCO3. HCO3. Because what does bi mean? 
add the hydrogen ion. What is carbonate? CO3, 2 minus. When you have an H plus and a carbonate together, the 2 minus gets canceled a little bit by this 1 plus, and then H and CO3 come together to make HCO3, 1 minus, okay? So there's our quick review. And we have a cation, anion, cation, anion. Give me the salt first. Actually, let's just, just give me whatever you want first. I'm not going to say salt, salt and water because there's no water here. NaCl, so you took the sodium and bound it with the chlorine. Why would you not write ClNa? Because it looks stupid, first of all, right? We all understand this looks stupid when you write ClNa. But because you put the cation first is really the reason, right? You always put cations first. And then what else? It's not water in this case right now. Give me the very first thing you see that goes together. Hydrogen. I know you want to say hydrogen bicarbonate. You want to put H and then H. Thank you, carbonic acid. H, HCO3 comes together to make H2CO3 because you just combine your H's as a subscript. So we have H2CO3, which is carbonic acid. So like I said, this is still a neutralization because we have, this is a basic salt, this is a salt actually, and this is acid, and it's acid base makes uh, two other things, it's neutralizing itself. But they're all not going to end up at pH of 7, okay? They're all not going to end up at pH neutral. Some of them are still going to be acidic in solution, and some of them are still going to be basic in solution. Um, so you guys do these on your paper, and I'll kind of come around and see who can do them on the board soon, okay? Please come You'll want to know what Outside, there's one thing wrong. Logan, what is it? Okay, so we'll balance that in just a second. And keep going, Benny. Let's go, I believe. So we have calcium hydroxide, acetic acid. Acetic acid came from acetate, and so when it recombines good, it's making a new salt, which is calcium acetate. Agua 
and free balance. Good. Okay. Remember to acetate? Does anybody remember acetate? Like three people. Okay, acetate is a cool one. Okay, we're going to see acetate in our lab on Tuesday. So make sure you're comfortable with these. Where does the two go on this one? Or what do we need to balance on this one? Water and the. I think it's good there. Uh, oh, yeah, H and a three, sorry. All right, all right. Feel good about this? Okay. Um, tell me if you had to decide on a pH of the end solution. What kind of acid is this? Strong or weak? Strong acid. Strong acid. What kind of base is this? Weak base because it's not part of the, the little b. So when those come together, do you think the end solution is going to be acidic, basic, or neutral? Acidic. Why acidic? Whoever said that? Maggie? Why? It's because the strong acid gets 100% of the reactant the product. So the strong acid, there's going to be more of it on the product side than there will be a weak base. Okay. I'm going to go simpler. Strong outweighs the weak. So that controls the pH because it's stronger. It does make a, it does make a difference on this dissociation, but actually these uh, acid and base will 100% react anyway. So we're going to get into that Monday too. Um, this one down here, what would you say? <coughs> what kind of base is this? Strong. What kind of acid is this? Weak. And so therefore, as they react, what uh, what acidity, acidity of the pH of the solution should it be? Basic because the strong base outweighs the weak acid. Okay, so that so it's pretty much like mama base and daddy acid make basic salt, baby basic salt. Yeah. A neutral? What you guys tell me? What do you think a neutral salt would be made from? Strong, and strong, and strong, strong and strong. Right. You could be weak or weak. That's actually a bit more complex. So I'm going to stick with just the explanation of strong, strong. Okay. So let's do neutral. I mean, let's do hydrolysis now. Tell me what do you notice between the like when you compare neutralization and hydrolysis? Opposites. They're switched. This is the opposite reaction. If you know one, you know the other people, okay? There's no question about what hydrolysis means. What does hydro refer to? Water. Water. What does lysis refer to? Electricity. Breaking. Breaking. Uh, biology. Lysosome. What's the lysosome do in the cell? It's it, it, it gets rid of the bad stuff. It's the garbage man, right? So it breaks up all the waste and disposes of it. It breaks things up. Uh, what do you spray on your countertops to clean them? Lysol. Lysol. You don't put Windex on your counters. That's on your windows. Uh, you put Lysol on your on the bad things on your counters because there's little bacteria every there everywhere. Lysol kills what 99.9% .9 of all germs. They lice open the cells. They break open the cells. So lysis means to break. So what is water breaking apart in this example? Salt. Salt. It's actually being like a home wrecker and it's breaking up salt and breaking it in half and recombining it in a double place of reaction. Um, so let's go through an example here. I'm going to not do it here. I'm going to do it on the next slide. Okay? Okay. So, and so on these, I'm not going to say sodium chloride reacts with water. I'm going to say the hydrolysis of sodium chloride. When I say hydrolysis of sodium chloride, what is the other reactant? Water. water. Okay. Sodium chloride reacts with water to make what? Okay, hold on. Hey, da da da. Da da da. And. Okay, I'll do movie reels the whole day. All right, so. That one is easy. No balancing needed. One, 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 one. Okay, okay? Calcium phosphate. You guys do these two. I want uh, calcium phosphate, lithium nitrate. Do I have anybody here? Maybe. Okay. So the polyatomics are coming back to haunt you. Yeah. They don't feel love. They need you to.
Lewis, will you say the word equation out for me? Don't like um, spell it out, but say it. Calcium phosphate plus water yields to calcium hydroxide plus Phosphoric acid, yeah. Phosphoric acid, good. Um, Betty, tell me what those product formulas are. Um, EA3. Okay, so you're telling me reactants. Go with products. Oh, sure. Um, H3PO4. Mm -hmm. Plus PPA OH2. Right, and that's parentheses too, right? Okay, so we're really protecting our polyatomics with parentheses. Or text the polyatomics with parentheses. Uh, we need to balance this though. So who got calcium phosphate from memory? Didn't have to look up anything? You're awesome people. Well, okay. I mean, yeah, you can look at the charges, but not phosphate. And then our phosphoric acid over there, you just recombine. Uh, tro coefficients, where do we need them? All of them. They all do need coefficients. Can you tell me them, maybe? Six on the H3PO4. Lies. Nope. I need a six here, six, but let's, oh yeah, six, six, let's go in order. Three calciums. Three here. Okay, keep going. I got two phosphates here. How many phosphates over here? Uh, so I only have one so far, right? So what do I need? A two coefficient. Okay, so now I have just made how many hydroxides? Six hydroxides and six hydrogens. Oh no. Oh, guess what? They're together. Great. Yay. All right, so tell me the ending pH of this solution based off the strength of the acid and base made. What's the strength of this acid, I mean, this acid or base, whatever it is here? Strong base and? How do you know it's not a weak, it's not a strong acid? It's not in your head as memorized as the first six, right? So is it acidic, basic, or neutral? It's basic, because it's a strong base. Lithium nitrate, tell me what you got down. Shout it out. Li and I three plus keep going. Okay, subscripts. I mean, are coefficients needed? Yeah. Nay. Um, is this ending solution acidic, basic, or neutral? Neutral. Why neutral, Clayton? Strong. strong acid, strong base, neutral, because they don't, nobody outweighs the other. Does that make sense? Yeah? Thank you. Okay, um, our lab next, we're done with this, told you it was quick. I will come back here for anybody who needs to check this. Our lab is really simple. I just want to tell you quickly how to do it, because um, if you actually math out everything, it takes twice as long. So turn it me back here.
I'm still videoing. I hate it when I do that. <laughs> <laughs> 